my name is Kate and I'm one of the dance artists on English National Ballet's Dance for Parkinson's programme. And this is Matt. Hello. And Matt is one of the musicians on the programme. Um, we hope you're all keeping well and safe at home. Um, we're very happy to be bringing you these classes online as we can't be dancing together at the moment, but we will be soon, I'm sure. Um, so we're going to get going. So if you've um, done these classes before, I'm sure if you, if you did the last video that we did, um, you'll know this already. But for those of you who didn't, um, just a few things before we do get moving. So what would be what's good is if you've got an, a nice sturdy chair. Um, so ideally, we're not sitting on a sofa or kind of too close to a, a desk or anything like that. Make sure that you've got space around you. So a good test is to kind of reach your hands side to side and around and just make sure that you're not going to hit anything. And you want to make, yeah, definitely make sure that you've got space to move, not just in terms of what you're going to physically hit, but it's also just to feel like you've got, you know, freedom to move. Um, and also just try to um, be, be wearing um, clothes that you can move easily in. Um, so something comfortable and loose fitting, nothing too tight fitting. And with our feet as well, it's nice if we can feel our feet spreading along the floor and really feel the floor underneath us. Um, so heels and things like that, no, no. Um, I think that's about it. I suppose just one last thing to say is just to take things at your own pace. So this is an online class, so you can pause it and rewind at any time if you feel like we've gone through something a little bit quickly. Um, there are moments where we're moving our arms and our legs together at the same time, but you might feel like actually you just want to just focus on using the arms or just focus on the legs, and that's absolutely fine. So you just you you do what feels right for you. So let's get let's get going. So we're going to start just um, to get set up to begin with, and um, just bring our feet out in front of us, give them a little bit of a wiggle on the floor. And we want to just make sure that we've got our toes and our ankles and our knees and our hips in line. And ideally, we've got a kind of right angle with the, with, with the knees. OK, so now that we've got that sort of uh, base, our, our sort of foundation set up, we're just going to take a gentle rock from side to side. So just feel the weight shifting from one seat bone to another. And as we do this, just notice how it affects your rib cage and your shoulders. You might feel there's a gentle sway that comes into the body. And that's nice, we want to go with that so we don't have to keep it all almost like this rock structure that moves as one. We can feel that fluidity in the body. Almost like we're moving through water and we're just being kind of gradually drifted one way and the other but all the time we've got this rooting through the lower half so just play with that a little bit notice that subtle resistance as we move easiness across the shoulders and the neck and the skull just lightly floating on top expanding in all directions. 
So we're gonna take five slow, long inhales and exhales. And as you inhale, really visualize your whole body expanding. And then as we exhale, you can visualize rooting down and lengthening up at the same time. So we have this expansion as we inhale and then this lengthening as we exhale. So placing your hands wherever you wish, whether this would be on your legs or one hand on the heart, one hand on the chest. Let's take those five slow breaths. So
So this is our upper body exercise. So this begins um, with bringing our hands down by the sides of the body and then you really want to spread the palms 
and imagine that you're kind of drawing a circle around you in this bubble you want to kind of really feel like you're reaching right to the edges we get to the top and then from there we're going to curl the body over into a c shape so it's almost like you're hugging a beach ball and you draw the belly button in towards the spine and then from there we reach back up towards the sky and then open the hands out into a sort of t shape then we're going to reach out one way and it's like something's there and you can't quite reach it and then you're going to do the same the other way and then that same arm that you're, you're looking at right now you're then going to take above the head and then we're going to go into a little bit of a sideways tilt so on this sideways tilt you might want to use the chair just to support you it's very very subtle we haven't got to go a long way over it's not about collapsing here it's about lengthening this side of the body so you want to really feel there's space in the rib cage, and we're not collapsing on the underneath side. So we just reach up, and then from here we're going to fold forwards, and then roll up through the spine, seeing if we can uncurl one vertebrae at a time. So let's just recap that. That goes twice, and the second time through we go the other way. So we reach the hands all the way up. And then we make that C shape through the spine and over the top. Hug that, that beach ball and draw the belly button in towards the spine and then reach the hands up and then opening out to a T shape. So whichever way you reached first last time, go the other way this time. So I'm going to reach one way and the other. Reach that hand that you're looking at up towards the sky and we've got that very, very gentle tilt over to one side we curl forwards and then we roll up through the spine starting from the bottom so the head's the last thing to come up lovely okay the next section is almost like we're skimming the water um, skimming water with the top of our hands with the back of our hands so we brush forwards and we reach through the fingertips and then we brush back and then we take a big circle, so we reach forwards and then up towards the sky. And that circle goes all the way around us. So there's a little bit of a twist happening here. Then we do the same the other side. So we reach, we imagine that we're skimming the back of the hand along some water out in front of us. And then back behind us, see if you can follow that hand. There's a little bit of a twist through the body. And then that circle all the way around. And then we finish with the hand coming back onto the thigh. The last little bit is that we're going to gather energy in the room. So you're going to bring this in towards your chest one way. Then you want to really feel your fingers clasping in towards each other too. And then you're going to send that around the room, perhaps out the windows, out of the doors, to everybody that you might wish to send it to. When we do that one more time, gather the energy in one. Gather the energy in two, and this time we're throwing it up towards the sky, up, and the arms drift back down. So that whole thing is going to go twice through, so um, we're going to go for it now with some music. Follow me on screen, I'll try and cue as much as I can as well, so listen to what I'm saying too. Um, and we've got two, two shots, so if, if it... If it doesn't happen quite right the first time, you've got another go. Okay, here we go. So that length through the spine. Ready to draw our bubble.
our port de bras, which is a little bit slower. And now we're going to move a little bit faster. So we're going to I do a bit more of a dynamic kind of spiky staccato uh, sequence now with our lower body and our upper body together. So as I said at the beginning, if you want to just focus on just using the lower body and forgetting about the upper body, then please do that or the other way around, you make it work for you. So we're going to start with this one by peeling the, we kind of pop the heels up off the floor and at the same time, the shoulders are going to come up and drop. So we do that twice, up and drop. And then we've got what we call a kind of box step. So the, the foot's going to go wide and wide and then back in and back in. Now the arms on that are also optional. So we can take the arms wide and wide, back in and back in. Up to you. That goes twice. So we've got up and down, up and down. We've got one and two and three and four. Next little section, you're going to imagine that you're kicking something away from you. So you're throwing the leg out in front, throw and in. Really kick the leg and in. And again, the arms are optional, so you can follow that same action with the arms where we with the leg where we throw the arm and we throw the leg together. Throw and in. And then we've got four little toe taps out in front of us. So we're extending the leg away, one, and two, and three, and four. We throw the legs again, one, and down, two, and down. And this time, we're going to imagine that we're flicking the hands out in front of us, and we've got a kind of low V, and then a medium V, and then a high V, and down. So that's our first section. Then we move on to the second section, which is where we imagine that we're kind of drawing, um, almost like we're moving our foot through sand. You're going to draw the leg out in front of you, and then you're going to draw almost like a quarter circle, and then you're going to bring it in. And the same thing with the arms. So we're going front and side and in, and then the other side, front, side and in. And then we've got a little thing with our feet. We're watching closely. We're going to bring our heels out to the side, then our toes, then our heels, and then our toes. So our feet gradually get a little bit wider. And then almost like a little um, scurry back in, we bring the toes all the way back in. And then we repeat the drawing of the quarter circles. So that's kind of called a rond de jambe. So we reach front, side, and front, side and in, and then we've got heels, toes, heels, toes and scurry back in. And then we go back to the beginning section, so we've got the up, down, up, down, our box step, wide and wide and in and in, up, down, up, down, wide, wide, in and in, our throws, one, and two, four toe taps, one and two and three and four, throw again, and two, and we end with those flicks low and medium and high, and really get that sense of lift through the body when we finish. Okay, let's go for it. I think you'll know the song. Shall we go for it? Okay, here we go. So sitting nice and tall. We've got lift, drop, lift.
tricky, so you might you might need to go back and do that one more time. I don't know. Okay, next thing we're going to do is a little bit more with our feet. Um, so we want to make sure that we've got nice and warm with our feet, and then we're going to come to standing in a minute. So this starts with eight marches through the feet, and so we're going to kind of do a sequence. And then we're going to do a, the same thing again, but just a little bit faster. So we start with those eight marches through. And as we're marching through the feet, just try to make sure that we really are trying to go through the toe and then the ball of the foot comes down and then the heel. So every time we've got that kind of sort of like a soft landing through the feet. So we start with eight marches. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then we do these little kind of pads away with the foot so we go a little bit away from us a bit further a bit further still and back in and then the same with the other side one and two and three back in then we've got the eight marches one more time one two three four five six seven and eight and then we're going to take those pads this time to the side so we've got open two and three, back in, a one, a two, a three, back in, okay. So in this whole exercise, one thing that happens is when we start using our feet, we forget about our upper body. So try to make sure the whole time we've got that lift and long spine, okay. The next section is a little jump. So in um, Bali, we call it a padasha. So it means step of a cat, so it's very light. So you're going to bring one foot up and then you're going to swap the feet so it's like a little rhythm. So we've got a one and you're going to go one way. We've got four of these. The second one's going to go the other way. A two, a three, a four. And then we've got four uh, taps out in front of us. One and two. We've done these already. Three and four. We repeat the little jumping padasha step. We've got a one, a two, a three, a four. This time, heels out in front, so sending the heel away. One, and two, and three, and four. So that's our first section. So that's the section where we kind of do it a little bit slower, and then we go a little bit faster. And then we finish with a bit more of a free um, kind of exercise, where it's just about enjoying... Uh, dancing to the music and really finding the rhythm in our bodies. So we're going to do eight thigh slaps and at the same time as these thigh slaps you can either keep that marching through the feet or if you want to just do lifting heel taps like this then that's fine. So we're doing eight thigh slaps, one and three and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, then eight claps, one and two, three, Then eight taps on the head. So this is the moment where you might suddenly notice that you've been sitting like this. So you want to really send the posture tool. Eight on the head. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we send the energy up and keep the legs going. And then we come all the way back down. Then we do the same, but this time with just four. So we've got one and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. Four taps. Reach up this time with two. So we go one and two, a one and two, one and two. Now we finish with ones and we're going to do ones twice. So we've got two shots at it. So we've got one, one, one and up. One, one, one. And we'll finish, hopefully, there if all goes to plan. <laughs> okay, let's have a go from the top. So just to recap, we start with the marches through the feet and those little pads out in front of us. And then the eight marches again, and then the pads to the side. And then we have that little padasha step, four of those with the toe taps, and then the padasha step again with the heels, and then into our um, slapping and tapping and tapping section. Okay, here we go. So sitting nice and tall. Here we go. Two, three, back in. 
good. Not easy, not easy that one, I'm telling you. It's exhausting. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stand now. So, if you wish, you can stand, or you can do this next one seated as well. But for those of us that are standing, we're going to come round, and we're going to hold the back of the chair now for our support. I'm just going to move it forward a little bit for space for me. So, um, as I said at the beginning, just make sure your chair is nice and steady. It might be better to use a worktop, so whatever's easiest for you. We're going to be moving side to side around the chair, so just make sure you have got space either side of you for this one. But as I said, if you prefer to stay seated or, or perhaps you've had enough, then that's absolutely fine. But we're going to do this one last little plie and sway just to get us grounded as we stand today. So we're going to start. Um, make sure you've got your feet kind of hip distance apart. It's nice. It doesn't matter if we've got our feet a little bit turned out or it, it's really whatever's comfortable for you. As we take a plie, so as, a, as we take a bend, you just want to make sure that your knees are going directly over your toes. So what we don't want is something like this, yeah? So we want to really plant through the feet and have everything nicely aligned. So just get nice and comfortable holding the backs of the chair or the worktop or whatever it is you're using. We're going to take a bend and a stretch. We're taking three of these. Gentle bend through the knees and stretch. And it's always nice to think as we're going down, we lift up, lift up, even though we're bending, we lift up. That's our third one. And then on the fourth one, if you feel comfortable, we're going to lightly press into our support and just take a gentle rise up onto the toes and lower softly back down. So if you feel like that's actually a little bit too much, then of course we just do a fourth plie instead. So it's up to you. From there, we're then gonna open the hand out. We're going across the body. So I'm taking my right hand across the body and then I'm opening it out in front. And then from there, when it gets to the side, I'm gonna reach the hand up towards the sky and then take a gentle sideways tilt, just as we did at the start. And then this time I'm going to open the hand up towards the ceiling, bring it back down towards my thigh and then reach it out in front. And this is what we call our arabesque line. So you want to really feel that length from the shoulder through to our middle finger. And you want that sense of reach and you're kind of looking out over long distance out in front of us and down. So we repeat that. So we go bend and stretch and two, and stretch, and third one, and softly rising up, and lower. We bring the hand across in front, all the way up the side, over the top, and then we come back up to straight, follow the arm down towards the leg, and then reach it out in front of us, and down. Then we're going to take our next little section, we're going to reach. Now you can do this with the hands and the feet together, or we can just think about the hands. So the options are we slide the leg out, and we reach the hand, and you really want to feel that sense of just as we did at the start. We're reaching, we're trying to get to something, we can't quite reach it, so then we bring everything back in and we're going to do the same the other way. And there's this slight sliding, if you can, it does depend a little bit on the floor you're on and what you're wearing on your feet, but there's this sort of shift and reach one way and the other. But you can just do it on the spot with just your hands, that's also an option. So we've gone one way and reach and the other way and reach, we've got that four times, in and reach and fourth time and reach and then we're going to take a little bit more of a gentle sway side to side if you want to you can let go of this of your support and take your hands into a bit of a figure of eight yeah one way and the other just what feels natural yeah you almost don't want to think about this too much okay and then we're going to go back to our reach and reach and again four of these and reach, 
and reach and into our sway one and two and three and four with the arms if you wish okay and then we're going to finish okay so just plant the feet underneath you get nice and comfortable holding the chair feel that lift through the spine easy shoulders ready to go again and we will see you again soon but in the meantime stay safe and stay well okay bye <laughs>